The time has finally come. Sparking Zero is getting like its biggest trailer that we've ever seen. 13 minutes or something like that. We're actually gonna be able to see how this game plays, not just a little cinematic little grab from here, little grab from there. If you guys are excited, make sure to leave a comment down below what you wanna see from this game and then watch the whole thing and let me know if this kind of answered what you desire in the game. Did you hit the like button yet? Yes, we're almost at a million subs. <sighs> Do it. Hey, somebody beat the- ah! Ah! In case you're watching this over on YouTube. I'm also live. That's why you heard that noise just now. Um, Yeah, that's a sub alert. Sparking zero time. Let's go, premiere time. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's happening. It's time. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. God, the world looks so beautiful. Oh, this is the best game of all time. I'm sorry. Look at the land. I'm, I'm joking, no glaze here. All right, we've already seen this. Yep. Yep, we've seen this. This is a live, or I am watching this via live stream. Do I have max quality? Let me make sure I have max quality. Beautiful. This is max quality. I don't know why it, it I don't know. It, it looked fine, it looked fine. All right, we've already seen this. I'll show you the horrors of hell. I'll show you the horrors of hell. Okay. So, so this is just like the sizzle reel. We've already seen this. We've already seen this. It looks beautiful. Got my tea. All right, none of this is new, but that's just to introduce us. That's to get us hype. 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 Everyone relax. Everyone relax. Yeah, yeah. 新作のゲームではドラゴンボールスパーキングゼロは単なる新作のゲームではなく公開展開ですね。やっ、やっ、やっ、やっ、やっ、やっ、やっ、やっ、やっ、やっ、やっ、やっ、やっ、やっ、や
See, they seem a little stiff. Visually, it looks amazing, though. Yeah, like the camera movement's a little wonky. They got to figure that out. But it does look fire. Oh, they got the Vanish War. I need to go back and look. Like, was that burning their key? To Vanish? Hold on, the OST kind of going crazy too. You guys know a good Dragon Ball game need a good OST. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, this is the ult. Yeah. Oh, uh, you knew they had to. You knew they had to get that beam. Oh, what is it? So triangle. Is it? A, it's not a match war. Okay, I'm actually happy. Now I don't have to lose every. Uh, Beam struggle to Dino because he can just mash faster than everyone. Let's go again. That okay with you? Inaccurate ending though. Inaccurate ending though. Genuine sequel and evolution of the series. What made it so popular? Okay. Okay. ドラゴンダッシュを使った高速移動やファンの皆様ならこのゲームで実現させたドラゴンボールらしいダイナミックかつ激しいバトルを存分にお楽しみいただけると嬉しいです。The game definitely looks beautiful, but it also like I said has せっかくのゲームプレイ。Few rough corners right now that I think they'll iron out。まず先ほど基本的なメカニクスはシリーズからそのDNAを受け継いでいる胸をお伝えしましたが、ドラゴンボールアクションの爽快感やダイナミックなバトルを表現可能にするためにはどうしたらよいか重ねいくつかの変更や新要素を加えました yeah, that movement, it, it did seem kind of cool. I kind of like how they were moving around. But again, just the camera angle, sometimes it felt cool, but sometimes it felt like a little much. Like all over. Skill count that builds up over time during battle. いずれも、オッケー。いずれも、オッケー。いずれも、オッケー。いずれも、オッケー。いずれも、オッケー。いずれも、オッケー。いずれも、オッケー。いずれも、オッケー。いずれも、オッケー。いずれも、オッケー。
またこの後すぐに最新のキャラクター PV を初お披露目させていただきます。ショーケースに大きなキャラクターを披露目させていただきます。ショーケースに大きなキャラクターを披露目させていただきます。ショーケースに大きなキャラクターを披露目させていただきます。ショーケースに大きなキャラクターを披露目させていただきます。ショーケースに大きなキャラクターを披露目させていおー !Super Trunks looks fire! Oh, nigga, my name Dispo! Yeah! Oh, he fast! Oh, hold on, Dispo look kind of fire, though. Giant Explosive. Oh! No! Bro, Kakunsa, bro, Kakunsa in the game is crazy. That's crazy. That's a flex. That's a flex. Them adding Kakunsa. The map here looks crazy. They should have fought here on the、uh, demonstration. Man, this looks beautiful. Look at Nappa. Oh, nobody expected Nappa. Oh, that looked. Oh, that just looked beautiful. Beta! Ooh! Ooh! Oh, look at Top! Topo! Call him Topo! Don't call him Top! They call him Top in the English dub. Yeah! Joyce! Oh, they, oh, he getting jumped! Oh, not my boy! Oh, not my boy! No, not my boy! Oh, not the Lorax! Purple Comet! No way we end the trailer on. Yeah, I was about to. Ooh! Kale! Ooh! Broly! Oh, nah. I might, I might main Broly, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Look at him. Ooh, look at him. With the explosive wave, the iconic angle. Oh, look at that! Ooh, my boy! Mink? Ooh, look at my boy! Look at the gold, Mink! Oh, that's fire. 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 Good grief. Looks like we've awakened a real bona fide monster. Ooh! He got dialogue with, with Broly? What? Oh, that was fire. That was fire. Oh, that was fire. Look how many more they have to, to, to show. Oh, that just made me sad, man. And then Fighters Rollback came out, and then Breakers. They're just showing all the other Dragon Ball games. Oh my gosh. So that was the initial reaction, but you guys know, you guys know what we do over here is we watch it again, but now we have the more pause worthy、uh, reaction where. I'm not in a row. You know, it was a live reaction. That was, the, that was the premiere. So we couldn't really stop it too much. But let's just go through some moments that we w a s messing with, how we, like, let, you know, get our second glimpse of it, our second take. So let's, let's start like, noti like noticing things, okay? So, like with the UI, so it's pretty obvious, but right here, this looks to be the health bars. So, Goku has four health bars here. Then, obviously, there's the key. And,、uh, and it looks like there's a cap of seven health bars because、uh, there's three that are blank. Maybe you can get more in the future, but、uh, it looks like they're starting with four, but up to seven. It looks like that little dash costs key. Yeah, so every time he like, boosts the dash up a little bit, it costs a little bit of key to like, dodge and stuff. I don't know what this number is that he just got, but they both got it at the same time. I think that's the thing they were talking about where, like, over time throughout the match, like, that'll build up.、Uh, I don't know how you guys feel over in the comment section, but chat, while I'm streaming this, t h e y a little iffy on the UI.、Uh, but you guys let me know how you feel about the UI. It is, it is interesting. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know how much I love the UI here, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. All right, hold on. Was Vanish costing anything? Let me see. Let me see. 
Yeah, it looks like it costs a little bit of key. Let me check that one more time. Yeah, it costs key to vanish. Okay. But it looks like the key automatically is restoring as he's... I don't know if that's just because he's fighting. Or if that's just like... If like as a baseline you automatically go up to like two... Yeah, so while Goku's getting hit, he's not gaining key. But while Goku's hitting, he gains key. So while you're aggressing, while you're throwing punches, you gain key. And then this little uh, this little thing here, right under this little slash, looks like it fills up. And then once that fills up, then that gives you another one of these uh, blast gauges, is what I believe it was called in um, the Tenkaichi games, the old ones. Don't know what it's going to be called here, but one of these stocks... Uh, which can be used for various techniques. But as we saw later in the trailer, uh, they're used to like deflect and they can be used kind of like an evasive, uh, similar to Xenoverse, uh, where while you're mid getting hit in a combo, you can like use some of that resource and then punch them off of you. So you got to manage that wisely. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's just look at some of the camera mo movement here. Like, I kind of like the action feel of the camera movement. Don't get me wrong. Like, while Ve while Goku's comboing Vegeta here, I think it's pretty fire. Because it, like, adds some impact. But there was just some awkward moments when they're, like, above each other that I found a little, like, needs to be uh, kind of, like, refined, I think. But then again, like the nature of Dragon Ball is the the hecticness, but you got to have a good balance. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it looks like right when Goku got hit by Gallic Gun, that's when his battle damaged outfit appeared. I don't know if that's based off of getting hit by Gallic Gun or hitting the ground. Maybe both. Um... Yeah, so all that boosting around, all that flying around. So what caused that? I think that was caused by Vegeta going full baller, bro. Vegeta reaching full key changed the whole sky, bro. The whole day and night cycle changed. That's fire. Yeah, Vegeta gets the full key. The sky changes, bro. Which is gas. And I wonder, because like the song that's playing now with Vegeta at full key, I wonder if it's different for when Goku goes full key. You know what I mean? Like that, that'd be a cool little touch. Like their OST comes on. Hold on, let me see one other thing. Like, this is just a small detail. But, like, in Tenkaichi, 10k health was one bar of health. So, like, Vegeta does 17k here. So, let me see if that's, like, equal to, like, 1.7. You know what I mean? All right, but that was the whole combo. So, it, I guess the final flash itself did about 11k then. Yeah, because that was 6.2-ish. And then Goku's at two bars. So let's see if this just depletes him by like a bar. Yeah. Okay, so it's looking like each bar is 10k health. Just so we have a reference of how much damage they're really doing when we see those numbers, you know. He looked a little stiff there. Like let, let's not cap. It's not bad, but like like Goku he he bro bro became a still frame. Look at him. <laughs> Goku starts beating the brakes off of him. Now that mechanic right there seems pretty new. Damn, 14k for one combo? Surely that was a super. Hold on. Did he use key for that? Again, we already did our initial watch through. If you're annoyed that I keep pausing it, we already watched this, bro. All right. All right. How much key did he use for that? All right. So he knocks him away. Damn. Okay. That costed a lot of key. That was three bars of key. Uh... To boost that up. Damn. Damn, that's still a lot of damage. It's three bars, though. Hey, appreciate the raid. Appreciate the raid. Thank you. Yep, and again, we already saw that. That costed two bars of that uh, little blast stock that he's built up. See, Goku has four here. Throws Gallic Gun. And it looks like he had to go, go into a pose in order to do that. 
see he goes into that pose so i don't think the timing is as strict as it was in well raging blast it wasn't that strict but it looks like you just strike that pose and it looks like you could fake them out like strategically because look oh never mind so it, it had to connect i was gonna say like can he waste it like if you just keep spamming that pose does it cost uh the the stocks the auras do look amazing though the music is fire too then we've already saw that he used two bars to uh punch vegeta off but like little moments like that is what i was talking about with the camera it's not like they, they just gotta it's mainly when they're like right above each other that it's just kind of like wonky you know what i mean quick little moments like that and then all the vanishes just cost key It is the same song for Goku going full key. So whenever somebody goes full key. All right. So what was this? He he described this because he was already full, like fully charged. So this is something else that he's doing. All right, he has three bars here. He only has one of these little skill gauges. Break through the limit. Oh, he's just doing the ultimate. I'm tripping. I thought he was. Duh, I forgot. All right, this is this is kind of hard to read. Like, okay, so this is beam struggles right here. I was worried that they and, and look, I love the roll the goddamn control sticks as much as the next guy nostalgia wise, but we couldn't bring that back. It, controllers would be destroyed, hands would be destroyed. Like they they needed to do something a little more skill based. You know what I mean? And it's not just a mash war either. It's looking like it's going to be similar to like Budokai 3. Whenever you get hit by an ultimate, you have to like press the button right when it gets to the top. But if you press it right after, it's too late. Uh, but this display, it's kind of hard to read. Yeah, it looks like he's pressing it right as it gets towards the top. I He, he, he kind of risking it. He risking it. He pressing it mad early. Still beat though. Vegeta, let's go again. Vegeta. And there's like little things. Like I think the game looks stunning, but there's like you know there's little things. The game looks great, but it's just like there's a little stiffness here and there. But again, we're under develop. It's under development right now, so I expect, or I would, I would expect. A lot of it to kind of be ironed out and what i mean by stiff is like that zoom in like he could have looked down he could have like you know a little more motion than just like but it looks great it looks great and when the game is in the important thing is the gameplay looks fun and when the game is in motion it looks really 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 good uh with the exception again of a little bit of the camera movement in my opinion but let's see and then he just explains everything yeah, we, we, everything he explained, we kind of went over. Alright, now let's look at the hype moment. Let's look at the hype moment. All these characters. My speed is unmatched, my nigga. Dispo does look fire, though. The iconic super explosive wave. So this just pretty much confirms that we're going to see all of Rebrian's group. Not that you well, like the main three, right? Like Kakunsa, Rebrian, and I forget the other one who has like the little the little pointy head thing. Rose, it started with an R, I think, right? I forget. But, uh, which is fire. What they didn't confirm, though, 
is whether or not we're going to get team matches again. So in Tenkaichi, you could have up to 5v5. Obviously, they're not all on the on the field at the same time, but it's like, you know, you have your lineup. So like if one person goes down, then the next person comes out and you have five each. Uh, they didn't show that, but I would hope I would hope we have that. How many ladies are all around me? The OST is crazy. Like, we're getting glimpses of, o of OST, by the way. Like, really listen to this OST. Like, we're going to be banging this. The way we've been banging Budokai OST for the last 20 plus years, bro. We're going to be banging this shit, bro. Like, I know it's just the map, but, like, the map in the stage destruction is actually really good, bro. And the maps look huge. Obviously, until we get the game and, like, we fly from end to end, we can't tell how big, but they, they seem massive. Look at that. Look at that. And look at the destruction here, bro. Look at that. Like, look at all the shit around it. Like, that's fire. That's so clean. In a way, Bird are standing at eight feet tall talking about size. Erase this rampaging monster. Must be taught a lesson. Come on. Damn. Get your act together. Get your act together. So this is. I know some people might think that this is an implication that there there's team battle. And I think there's going to be. Let me make that clear. But. This is likely also just a cinematic ultimate. Like, whether Jace does this move or Birder does this move, the other one's going to show up. Like, if Birder does his ultimate, Jace is just going to show up. If Jace does his ultimate, Birder's just going to show up. I think. I think. I could be wrong, but we'll see. But if this is a team ult, then that's hype, because then it makes me wonder who else is going to have a team ult. Bro, Kale and Broly hyped me up so much, though. Kale looks so fire, bro. I wonder if we're going to get the other. Is, do we just get Berserk? Do we get the uh, base form? I guess she only really fought in Berserk. No, because she had like the controlled version of it, too. But Berserk Kale looks fire. And then Broly. I don't, need, I don't even need to say nothing, bro. Look at him. Oh, beast, bro. Beast. This looks fine. Like, whose ult is this? Is this somebody's ult? Is this their, like, intro when they, like, meet up? You know what I mean? Like, they're, you know how some people have special intros when they're about to fight? I wonder if that's that for them or, like, whose ult would this be? Because this would be funny if this is, like, <laughs> if this is Broly or Kale's ult, but, like, they do this against, like, Guldo. You know what I mean? Then you can have little Guldo, like, ah, ah, oh, fuck. You know what I mean? Better wrap this up quickly. Don't think you can Mink? enter my crosshairs and just walk away. <laughs> this ult looks so fire. So fluid, bro. So fire with the explosion and cool guys don't look at explosions at the end. Look at that, bro. Look at that pose, bro. Look at that pose. I don't even know what caused the explosion, bro. Bro, you was just punching, but you didn't even need that purple explosion, bro. But I take it because that's fire, bro. That's fire. That's fire. Good grief. Looks like we've awakened a real bona fide monster. Like that dialogue might just be hit versus Broly. Like he might just say that whenever he's about to fight Broly. But I would like to think that there's gonna be like a what if saga in this game where Hit actually like has to fight Broly. Or like, oh imagine a what if saga, but Hit is like has to like you have to go assassinate. You know what I mean? Like you gotta go do the work. You gotta go make the donuts, bro. You gotta go do the job. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. And then like Broly's one of the people that that he gets the little uh 
that he gets the call for. That would be fire, bro. All right, so that was Sparking Zero. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, honestly, on my second rewatch, normally when I get into the nitty gritty and like looking into things like up close in detail is where I kind of find more flaws. But honestly, this was one of the rare exceptions where the first time I watched it, I was kind of like, oh, might be a little stiff here. Camera movement might be a little wonky here. But then on the second rewatch, I kind of like liked it even more. You know what I mean? And normally it's the other way around, but the second rewatch really just made me even more excited. The only thing that I wish we would have gotten is a release date because God, damn, I really want to play this game, man. Oh my God. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Make sure you hit the like button and stay tuned for future Sparking Zero uh, updates on this channel because I will be covering it. I just spit all over the place. Did you subscribe yet? Bye.